Thank you for tuning in to my channel for another video. This one is using the Vagcan Commander 5.5, which I find pretty useless. And I want to demonstrate why. On a Mark IV Golf ECU EDC 15. Okay, using the quick test cable. So that plugs straight into the ECU, straight to the Vagcan Commander, and then we've got our power supply. So we'll make this one pretty quick. I'll log into Vagcan Commander. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, this is a K-line. Okay, one of the old K-line units. Now, if I go ECU on CAN high speed, go open channel. If we click on this, right? So open channel, diagnostic not open, target not responding. Okay, so we go right, well, it's K-line. So we've got a K-line, which all the YouTube... Tube videos seem to do. Go to open channel and it will try to read via K line. So the ECU is not waking up. Okay, so this is what most people will get when they plug in Vagcan Commander, they buy it on eBay, plug it all in, and this is what it does. Okay, this is what it does. Right, cannot connect a device. Now watch this. If I go to 07, which is instrument cluster, and then I go can high speed. So it's high speed, open channel, instrument cluster. And then go into engine control unit. Choose my ECU, which is the 15. Then go read the EEPROM. OK, so this is through the instrument cluster menu. It connects and it reads it. So it's read that EEPROM and it's got out the, the odometer value of this here. OK, the next thing I want to change this. So I've already removed the immobilizer, so that's not a problem. But if I go change that to a thousand, one, two, three, which is what I would do with the Fords and then clicked change with my Ford software. It changes it. I then write that back to the EEPROM and that is supposed to have changed that. But that did it so fast, not a chance in the world of that changed that um, mileage to a thousand. OK, so I'm going to go write EEPROM again. See how fast that is? Not a chance. So what I will do is save the file this time and I'm going to save the file to uh, EDC 15p EDC 15p okay there's a bit bin file so we're going to click on that save so that should be saved so if I go into new folder click on that there's our EDC 15p right so what I want to do now get out of that is I want to load from file. So that's a thousand, so I'm gonna go change. Load from file, EDC 15P, open, and write EEPROM. Okay, well, it's done it again already, so there's not a chance in the world that, again, that has actually written that EEPROM. If I exit, I mean, if you've, if you've got any better ideas in the comments how this is supposed to be done, please let me know, because to me it's useless. I mean, the, reading the pin code, um, reading the pin code, I can do with anything. Okay, so we take that. I, might, I mean, all tails will do it. Virtually any software will, will read the pin code. So what I've done is I've just unplugged the power supply, plugged it back in, gone to engine control unit, read EEPROM and we will see this mileage will be exactly the same as it was before there we go so it hasn't changed the mileage so the only thing this is good for to be honest is the login code you can't do anything else with it um, if you've got any ideas like I say in the comments of how you're supposed to do this please let me know okay thank you for watching